Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. This is my personal number 9849181923. This is my personal WhatsApp number. If you want to study material of this COA subject or if you have any doubts, WhatsApp me. Don't forget to ping me. I will clarify your doubts. Right? Come this side. Today's our topic is input, output and interrupt. Input, output, interrupt. This is last topic in first unit, third chapter. You know third chapter, basic computer organization and design is the third chapter, last topic. Before that, uh, if you have any confusion, for example, in fourth unit, we have a topic, some revision I am doing, this already completed we have in my previous videos, modes, modes means methods, ways of transfer, transferring what? Data or our information and instructions or code, instructions or code and the data will be transferred from one device to other device, register to other register, CP to uh, motherboard, motherboard processor to RAM, any other two device inside the motherboard will be of three types, modes of transfer, modes of data transfer, methods of data transfer from one place to other place. Three, those are programmed input output interrupt, it will be programmedized, micro program with program chips they will design, ROM chips and all. Second one is interrupt initiative input output priority interrupt. Interrupt initiative input output priority interrupt. I made it into box, I will tell you. And here DMA. DMA means direct memory access. That is very, very important. Five stars. Direct memory access. That is very, very important. This is also very, very important. Here thing is why, why I am doing revision is interrupt initiative input output interrupt. Interrupt interrupt here the topic is also interrupt. So, do not get confused. In fourth unit, the diagram is very big, that is from fourth unit. Input, output, interrupt, initiative. Here, in first unit, last chapter, input, output, interrupt. So, check those diagrams. See, CO is full of diagrams, compare those diagrams. And one more tip here for you is in micro operations. See, the operation done on register is called micro operation. Register is the smallest part, that is why it is micro, small. The register uh, data stored in the register, the operations are called micro operation. The operation which are done in the data stored in the register is called micro operation. Those are four types arithmetic micro operation, mathematical calculation, logic micro operation, shift to micro operation, arithmetic logic and shift to micro operation. These are four. Out of these four, you will get two questions compulsory. Register transfer micro operation, arithmetic micro operation, logic micro operation, shift to micro operation. And apart from that fifth, we have one more, arithmetic logic and shift unit. This five I have posted already in my previous videos. Out of those five, three questions will be compulsory, two or three. Here one more confusion is, a common bus system diagram will be horizontal and arithmetic circuit will be vertical. So, uh, compare, draw the diagram in rough notes so that you should not have any disturbance, confusion, right? Draw the diagram in the rough notes three times, okay? Now, today's our topic is this. Show me the question upside. Explain about input, output and interrupt with a diagram. If you do not ask with a diagram also, we have to draw diagram for every question. Mostly 99 percent, we have to draw diagram. Input, explain about input, output and interrupt with a diagram. Input, output and interrupt. The question, the title of the diagram is, see keep a box. Show me the box, complete box. Go back and show me complete box, complete border of the box. See, if possible, draw complete box and make, make your page into horizontal. While you are watching this video also, make your phone into not vertical, make it into horizontal so you can view the sentences easily, words, right? In your exam also, sometimes make the question paper into horizontal, vertical, horizontal and draw the diagram big and explain the flow of the diagram, you will get full marks. The title of the diagram is input output configuration, construction. Here very simple, first we start from here, keyboard, from keyboard data will go inside, in fact, input. Here keyboard, example input or mouse, war or mouse, direction is in this, this direction. Here it transfers to transmitter, interface, this is the interface, here we will have serial company, serial. Serial communication, serial, line by line, transmitter interface, it will transmit the data from the keyboard or mouse. If you type any data, if you, if you do any clicks from the keyboard, it will transmit to the input register. 
in a, in our previous diagram also we have learned registers 0 to 7 means 8 bit input register will be there the character will store if it is fgi this is a flip flop flag input flip flop this f is flag the g has taken from here shortcut i made it into capital letters for your right come closer flag g f l o g flag flag means either 0 or 1 if it is 0 it is in not active state if it is 1 it is active state data transmission will occur this is a flip flop flip flop is nothing but one cell either it will occupy 0 or 1 if it is 1 it is active state data transmission will occur up to here serial nothing but linear transmission will occur line by line serial that is mentioned here serial communication i will tell you at the end input output register flag if the flag is one it will occur here it is done parallelly data transmission will done parallelly not serially parallelly to ac you know what is ac accumulator accumulator means collect collector or gather gather all zeros and ones at one place and process the task information it will do some task it will send it to output register from input to output register output register same o u t r output register here, here also we have f g o here f g i here f g o f g o means flag same come closer f and g has taken as shortcuts o stands for output it's again a flip flop flip flop means a small cell collection of flip flops is a register 4 bit register 8 bit register 4 flip flops 1 2 3 4 4 bit register right flip flop if it is 1 it will be in active state it will 0 it is in deactive state so here again it will be done serial again here serial this line is serial serial transmission occur from here to receiver interface both are interfaces it will receives from the output register and it will send it to the printer as example of output device this is input device this is output device very simple easy diagram output or our monitor monitor also output device it will show on the monitor it will get print on the hard paper output device so here this this area this area is called input output terminals terminal means end points we cannot we cannot connect any other device to it that is called terminal terminator end here end to end transfer end to end peer to peer peer means also end points from keyboard you, you cannot connect any other device for cpu you can connect so many pen drive you can connect mic you can connect so many devices you can connect to cpu whereas printer you cannot connect anything monitor you cannot connect anything right keyboard and mouse so those are called peer peer means last devices end devices peer to peer communication will occur here this area this area is called serial communication interface and here you have computer registers I told you this registers and flip flops. So, if you type any data to print this, it will transmit information input register it will store FG, uh, FGI flip flop is 1 and it will send to accumulator, it will send to output register, receiver and it will print right. Very very easy draw the diagram neatly and uh, practice in rough notes 3 times. If you practice roughly also no problem after dra drawing this explain the flow of the diagram that is all. You will get full marks. All the best for your exam.